welcome back to the channel. My name is Amy Jo for those of you who are new. And um, yeah, you saw the title, it's a March plan with me. I'm just gonna gloss over February for a little bit and talk about my plans for March. So February was pretty eventful. Oh, I can actually cross something off, I just noticed. So just to give you guys a little refresh, I have my little planner here from Target. Uh, she's cute, she looks like a little cookbook, but it's a planner. <laughs> and every month we've got a little section of goals here that are broken down into personal, health, and work. And then I will talk a little bit also about uh, weight loss and money. Um, but for my personal goals for February, these aren't really anything that I could like, you know, check off like tangibly, it's just like kind of habits to keep in mind throughout my life. To work on being decisive, that was a little, it was a little tough. I think I got better, but there wasn't a ton of huge dis, well, yes, there were. <laughs> David and I are kind of in the process of looking for a house, like an actual house, a home that, like the building is just ours, it's crazy. And we have made decisions. We put in an offer last night, actually, and those were big decisions for me to make because I, it's just an intimidating, it's it's not money that I don't have, but it is an intimidating amount of money. You know what I mean? But yeah, I think I did, I think it was hard to do, but I think it was, you know, good steps in the right direction for me to make big decisions. And I did tell David too, I was like, I, ha I have this exercise. If we wanna go out to eat sometime, tell me it's up to me, because I hate making decisions. <laughs> And I was able to pick some places that we went to eat and um, that was fine. It's something that I really want to get better at. Because I'm, I'm okay about it at work. I can make quick decisions when I'm like running replay or getting the getting this camera angle instead of that camera angle. But just for my personal life, I don't want to screw up. <laughs> so I am working really hard to make decisions now, I swear. Implement time blocking. That went out the window. I'm going to try again this month. My cat got sick. Um, he is all better now, but yeah, he got a little ill and my focus kind of went to making sure that he was okay since I work from home right now and I was able to like check up on him. Um, I just, I completely threw time blocking out the window, but I'm going to try and get it again. Um, I did do my non-negotiables just about every day. I think today and last night were the only days so far that I just didn't work out. Uh, that, that is one of my non-negotiables, um, but I have held pretty uh, true to those. Um, just the last couple of days have been a little hectic um, and I'm giving myself grace. I'm just, I'm not gonna, uh, I'll just start from scratch, basically. I'm not gonna overcorrect myself here. Stay strict on budget. <laughs> we scheduled a vacation for next month. We um, needed shoes for that because we're gonna go on a hike. So I got myself hiking shoes. I also got running shoes. I just, I treated myself to a few things and it's no big deal. And we paid for Harley's medicine with it. I also had to get new tires. And then no scrolling at night. This has been a little bit harder, but I have actually been really good this week because I decided to give up scrolling at nighttime for Lent. Uh, for my health goals, I had workout every day, hydrate and add more veggies to your plate to bulk up your meals. I think overall I did pretty well on this one. Like I said, yesterday and today are the only days that I haven't worked out but I'm gonna set up a new workout split so I can break in my running shoes and get to running again. Now for my work goals, uh, this is an exciting section. I did fully update my website. My website is beautiful. I researched and set up prices for the services that I wanna offer, which uh, ties into updating my website. And then I actually did get an editing gig, which is why I didn't really do any sit down YouTube videos like this or vlogs. Um, I did up my shorts game, like my Instagram reels that I also uploaded in my YouTube shorts. I did pretty darn well on that. Just a, just a supplement there, just like so I could keep creating, keep from getting rusty. Of course, now I'm rusty right here. <laughs> but I did get an editing gig. I um, edited videos for my friend Charlie, and I'll insert a little clip of our day here. Guys, look what I got. It's my camera. And my bestie. Right. We were shooting some content for him, which I haven't like done. We haven't done this in a long time, and I'm really excited about it. It's been a while. Yeah, long, long time. <laughs> and we got doggos. We do got doggos. Hi, puppies. There's three of them. We're blessed. It would be a fair point just to say. You can say all you want right now. When do you let it fuck up your day? I don't know. It just does. Because I've worked on myself in ways you've only heard in books on your shelf. Just the same way. Hey, right. can you 
Charlie. Hi. <laughs> I'm so That's small. So, you're so tiny. <laughs> you want to tell? <laughs> look at my fuzzball. <laughs> you want to oh, tell the goodness. people where we can find Cheer Up and all the rest of your music? Uh, CharlieJohnMusic.com. Sure, it's there. All right. <laughs> Charlie John. <laughs> Charlie John. That's my name. And so the only thing that I didn't get done is my content marketing certification, but I have taken a couple classes here and there for it, so that should be wrapped up pretty soon. So I wanna to touch on my weight loss journey. So my goal for the end of the year is 130 pounds, and I still believe that's achievable, but the last couple of months, I have been kind of yo-yoing in. Um, not my diet per se, but, well, let, let's not BS ourselves. Like, there are a couple of weekends that I've been like, ooh, pizza, ooh, beer. <laughs> pizza and beer? <laughs> it, it happens, you know, but, I think because I've spent the last couple of years not eating like that consistently, that once in a while does, you know, give me like a spike, but then I get back on track and I'm doing pretty well. So I have noticed a trend. So I started the month at 147 pounds and I ended today on the scale at 146 pounds. And there have been days where I've been a little bit lower, I've been like 145, close to 144, but put it here. If you notice there is a little trend, 149, 148, 147, 146. So that, looking at that in succession actually um, kind of gave me a little confidence boost. And I think once I start running again, once I remove a little bit of stress off my shoulders, I think we'll be back in business, baby. And as far as money goes, now I'm in a, beautifully unique situation where I have multiple sources of income and I'm able to, you know, use a separate account to treat myself um, sparingly, but this month was a little bit more, you know, we had vet bills and we, um, we are going to Dollywood next month, so I got us our park tickets for that and preferred parking just to do a little treat. David got the hotel and I'll probably pick up some souvenirs and a dinner or two for us while we're there. Um, so yeah, I did spend a little bit more, but as far as sticking to my monthly budget, I think I maybe just went over a smidge. I actually haven't done my numbers yet and I don't care to do that on camera because it's, you know, it's personal, it's financial. It was a big money month. Um, but in March, I should see a lot of money coming in as I'm getting a little bit busier with more sports starting up. So it should even out. <laughs> and by April, I'll have like a nice balanced budget again. All right, and with that, let's talk about what we're gonna do for March. So we got a few things colored in, including a weekend away. I'm very excited. So my personal goals for March. I have given up nighttime scrolling for Lent, for the Lent season. Uh, I want to prep and enjoy for our Dollywood trip, obviously. I do want to stay very strict on our monthly budget, especially as we're talking about possibly getting a home. I want to get those numbers very clear. I want to stick to that budget. I want to figure out what we can do grocery-wise to trim that up, save on gas, things like that. Um, I also wrote down pick a new car and buy it, but I might scratch that out just depending on if we get this house or not. I might save that, especially because I just got new wheels and I just got the oil change for our car, for my car. Um, so I can wait on a Jeep for a little bit. I have a good feeling it's gonna happen this year. I really do, but maybe just not in March. For my health goals, I'm going to find a running trail or just like a nice park to go run at, and then I'm gonna add that into my split. Um, I wrote down more veggies again, and I have an outlandish goal to hit 142 pounds. I really wanna like, cut my bullshit and just get back to where I was before the holidays. And if I'm looking at the trend that I had just shown you, I should likely hit 144, oh, 145, 144 pounds. And I would be happy with that as long as the trend is going down. 142 is a little bit ambitious, but I'm okay with that. Work goals, okay, we are getting a lot of my work goals are sort of the same. I'd like an editing gig and I want to continue with my content marketing certification. But I, I have an interview tomorrow for like my dream job. <laughs> so it's a little bit bittersweet thinking about, honestly, it is my dream job. It has been for a long time. It would mean a little bit less flexibility and I think I would have to go into the office every day. I don't know, I'll ask obviously, but I don't know if there's gonna be any work from home time 
and that's something I've grown accustomed to and will miss if I get the job but I think in the long run it's gonna be a lot better for me and it'll definitely mean a little bit more money and I can't believe the opportunity even exists like I feel like I'm in a weird place where like there's a lot of stress right now, but it's good stress because it feels like everything's kind of snowballing at me so fast. Between we might get a house, I might get this great new job, I still have the same hot boyfriend and adorable cats. And it, and it's sunny out and I'm going to go hiking in the mountains and I'm really happy. I'm really happy, it's overwhelming. Like I, I haven't stressed about it because I just want to make sure I'm not, it's not like a fluke, you know? Yeah, so what else? <laughs> um, I did also want to uh, resell my old laptop. So my old laptop I was editing on before my MacBook. I wanna clear all the information off of that and see if I can't get a little money back from that. Uh, I do wanna sell some clothes at like Plato's Closet and Clothes Mentor, but I'll put that up toward personal goals. And I wanna invest in a uh, MacBook port, like a, like a USB port translator converter thing because I have a lot of USB-C cords and they just don't fit in the MacBook Pro. Boring tech stuff. I want to get like a card reader and port reader for that. I'm also doing maternity photos for the first time this week too with my friend Jess. Uh, baseball starts soon. Basketball's wrapping up and we just started soccer so I'm really really excited about my future and just to get back into our seasons. And hopefully I can do more than just one YouTube video this month. So this is one. Hopefully I can get another in before the April plan with me. Yeah, I think that's it. Like I said before, these videos are gonna be a little bit more short and sweet. Um, just until any big changes happen and new goals come about. Guys, are you so excited that it's getting warmer out? I don't know where you live. I don't know where you're watching from, but here in Ohio, it's been extremely hot and extremely cold for like a couple weeks now and my nose cannot handle it. You know what, if you are participating in Lent as well, what are you giving up for 40 days? Like I said, I'm giving up nighttime scrolling and I already feel different doing that. And so what are you gonna give up? Um, and in the meantime, I will see you in the comment section and hopefully soon for another video. Um, I'll definitely see you on the shorts section, and uh, whatever it is, I will just see you next time. Bye.